The Religion of Akinkar and Dream Jumping. Hello angels, I'm Miss Quiet Queen and you are now tuned into the Quiet Queen Project. First things first, thank you for joining me. Thank you for subscribing. All my new subscribers, mwah, welcome aboard. All my old heads, good looking out. And even if you're not a subscriber, you just come by and watch whether good intentions or not. Thank you, because you help my views go up being nosy. Thank you. Now, um, <clears throat> seriously, I want to talk to you guys about the religion of Akinkar. Well, let me let me first give you my views about religion, period. Um, I don't particularly care for organized religion. Um... I like to study all types of religion. I and I have studied all types of religion. Um, I really appreciate Akinkar because my spiritual beliefs I, over the past ten years I realized that they're more supernatural type spiritual beliefs. You all know what I mean because you watch my videos, so you know the type of things that I talk about. So when I ran into this religion called Akinkar, and this is how it's spelled, E-C-K-A-N-K-A-R, Akinkar. Akinkar is a religion on love and light and sound. I want to read a paragraph or two. Um, from this catalog that I have. I did actually join Akinkar. The good thing about Akinkar is you can be in this religion and be in another one too. I mean, they don't have anything like that. The Mahata is what you will call the man that's in charge. This is Daryl. I'm sorry. Sri Harold Klemp. That's his title. Um, he, he's like the minister or pastor or whatever, but he, he, he doesn't wear those titles. He wears the title, his Shri, S-R-I. Um, he is not to be worshipped, but he is to be respected. He's He is very powerful. He is trusted with some heavyweight secrets. And they will tell you this, you know, you have to be initiated. See, that word threw me off when this religion. You know, they'll tell you how to do stuff, but you're initiated a little bit at a time. Let me explain to you. Let me just read this. This is written um, by the organization of Akinkar out of uh, Chahansen, Minnesota. And I'm just reading this little few paragraphs here. Listen to this, y'all. This is really interesting, okay? The teachings of Ak define the nature of soul. Your soul, a particle of God sent into the worlds, including Earth, to gain spiritual experience. The goal in Ek is spiritual freedom. In this lifetime, after which you become a co-worker with God, both here and in the next world, karma and reincarnation are primary beliefs. In other words, they do believe in reincarnation. They do believe that you could be reincarnated you also believe, uh, let's talk about that karma. Some people don't believe in karma. Some people say there's no such thing as karma. Karma, dogma, whatever you want to call it. Um, Akinkar believe in karma. Sometimes I believe in it, sometimes I don't. Karma is a tricky thing. But what they do is they feel like we're, we're sent here to... Um, to have spiritual experiences, also, we they believe that you um, have to pay off your karmic debt, you know, and you are here to do that. Whether you're paying off a karmic debt for a life you lived a hundred years ago or this current life, that's what they believe. Okay, also. Um, Key to the Ek teachings is the Mahata, which is the living Ek master. That's um, Sri Harold Klimt. 
He is the Mahata. His name is Harold Klimp, but when he is the Mahata, the inner act master, that means the master that comes to you in your dreams, his name is Wazi. See, he, do, he has a different persona, a different personality. But in the outer, if you were to go to Minnesota and visit him, he's Harold Klimp. But if he visits you in a dream, he is Wazi. And that's W-A-H space Z, capital Z. Okay. Um, the prophet of Akinkar, he is given respect but not worshipped. He teaches the sacred name of God, which is, they believe, is Hugh. It's pronounced like this. Hugh. You do that over and over for at least 20 minutes every single day. Let me keep reading and, and you'll understand why. When sung just a few minutes each day, Hugh will lift you spiritually into the light and sound of God. The Ek, aka the Holy Spirit, um, that's who the sound of God is. This easy spiritual exercise and others will purify you. You are then able to accept the full love of God in this lifetime. Now let me tell you something. You don't have to be doubtful because it does work. Um, uh, singing Hugh, it really does. It really does work because he came to me in my dreams. Y'all know I don't like people coming to my dreams unless I invite you. But this man right here came to me in my dream. I was having a nightmare. And he came and he was just like sitting there. And I remember seeing him. I'm like, wow, that's Harold Smith. Or, well, he's not Harold. He's YZ. What's YZ in my dream? And I'm having a hard time. Wow. And, he, and then he took a deep breath and went, just sing Hugh. And, they, and singing Hugh does work sometimes. Some great things happen to me when I sing Hugh. I want to talk to you guys about the Ek Masters themselves. Okay, the Ek Masters. Ek Masters are people like him. When he passes away, he will be considered an Ek Master. The man that passed him the, the torch, so to speak, Paul Twitchell. But anyway, here's just some. There are hundreds of Ek Masters that lived, existed over eons of years. Um, here are the popular ones that Ekinkar often pay attention to. They talk about others, but these are the ones that are the most popular. And let me tell you something. Let me look in this camera and let you know how for real and serious I am. And I am not lying to you when I tell you this. I had a dream about all of these egg masters in this at the same time the same dream the only one that i dreamt of separately was you know harold and reba zartars reba zartars my mentor in echo and car told me she said reba zartars get around now y'all remember i don't know if you saw the first video i ever did you can go back and look at it. It's still up. It was a um, video response to Astro Blue Baby's video, one of the videos he did. I don't remember the name of his video. But I was talking about a dog that was biting my hands. And I knew this dog was Smelly Goat. If y'all don't know who Smelly Goat is, go back and look at my videos. I don't have time to talk about it. Smelly Goat was an individual that lives in this life who, who is uh, very powerful and trying to manipulate me to do certain things and join things but I won't okay so that dog aka smelly goat was always coming to my dreams haunting me on the night that I actually murdered this dog because when you go on a, when, you, when you're dreaming 
you are actually in your world. You are in the world that you belong in. You have so much power. That's why lucid dreaming is so important to know how to do and understand that it is real. Um, so when I finally realized I did have this power to actually murder this dog so it can quit coming to my dreams because he will always come into my dreams and bite the hell out of my hands. I will wake up with sore hands. Really sore. I can really feel it because wherever you go when you dream, you're there for real. Okay? So I dreamt. Well, I shouldn't say I dreamt. I saw a man after I killed this dog. You want to find out how? Go watch the video. I looked across the river, or, or it was a lake of water, a little small body of water. And I looked across and I saw this man with dark tan skin and a hair. It looked kind of like an afro, you know, and uh, he had a robe. And when I when I met when I uh, got into acting car and I met my mentor in acting car and I told her, I, you know, she showed me a book like this and I saw Reba Sartars and I went, oh my gosh, he was in my dream. This man was in my dream. No kidding, he was in there. She's like, oh Reba Sartars, he, he that's Reba Sartars, he gets around. You know, if you're dreaming about Reba Zartars, there's a chance that you dealt with him in another lifetime. They say that these people right here can actually come to you physically. They know the secret of everlasting life and youth. Um, but you're not going to know about it unless they can entrust you with that uh, knowledge. So you have to be initiated. That's why a lot of, you know, secret societies, they want to initiate you you know every few months you can get a promotion or whatever they got to know that they can trust you with this information so these are they i dreamt about all of them in one dream maybe one day i'll read that dream it was very interesting um i talked to uh lee sai lie sai for a long time in that particular dream when I dreamed about all of them, he was talking to me for the longest time. And I can't remember what he was saying. I do remember him saying, you're not going to remember this when you wake up. Like I didn't need to remember it. I don't know. But um, I remember all of them. They all had lives at one point. They were, you know, born of this world. And um, they had lives. This one right here, Tawart Magaji, I, I know I'm saying his name wrong. He was married and his wife and children were murdered or something like that. And it was a very sad time for him. But I think that's when he started really delving into um, the sound and light of God. So anyway, um, that's them. Now, if you want to know more about them in depth, about them and what they do and what their powers are and how real they truly are read this book here i read this book it blew my freaking mind this book right here in the company of act masters is by a man named phil morty musso phil mori misu Get that book. Get that book. And another read that I, if you want to know more about this particular religion, it may be the religion for you. You know, I mean, I like this religion, but there are things about it that I'm not, I don't particular, I'm not feeling. But I'm not going to do, I'm not going to say what that is because I don't want to persuade your feelings either way. Um, I don't want you to not like something because I don't like it and then you won't give it a chance. He wrote another book. Phil wrote another book called The Seeker. 
And this is a good one. The secret language of uh, waking dreams. Get that book. And Soul Traveler. I have this book. Maybe I should give that away as a gift one time. You know, a uh, contest. But there are some people, you can go on YouTube and some people are knocking this religion and they call it an occult. They're saying it's evil. And I talk to them about it. I call their their um, uh, headquarters in Minnesota and they said when people do that, they're off balance. This is, this is very dangerous because dream jumping is dangerous. You know, you got to make sure you jump in the right person's dream and you have to be certain that that person is healthy before you jump into their dream. Because once you jump into somebody's dream, you are adopting all of whatever energies that they're feeling that night. You know, and this is why um, Mr. Clamp always says, you know, when you see you and you, and you are looking for an inner experience, don't. Don't smoke, don't drink, don't do drugs, don't do any of those things because he cannot and will not visit you. None of these act masters will visit you under the influence, when you're under the influence. So you cannot do that. Okay? This book sounds like a good book. I haven't read it yet, but I want to get it. Um, Dreams, Your Window to Heaven. It's by Debbie Johnson. You're with, see, who ever heard of a, a religion which its main ideals come from dreams? Now, Akin Kar, you can bring the Mahatma into your life. He's not evil, y'all. This man right here, he's not, he's a very sweet guy. He's very, I mean, I, I've seen a couple of his lectures. He's monotone, he's frail, he's soft-spoken, but when he comes to you in his dreams as YZ, it's like, Rah! you know, he's tougher, you know, he's a little bit more aggressive. Um, now, they teach you how to sing Hugh, and they do have meetups where my daughter and I, we went to a few of them out in the country. And we, everybody would just sit around and we go, Hugh, and everybody, you know, it's just, mm, you be way out there, you know. Um, when you get around like minds like that and that energy, it's just, it's fabulous. It's fascinating. I love it. But there are things about this religion I don't love, like I said. And one day I will talk to you about it. But not today. There are other words. I brought up the hue thing again because there are other words that you can say and it would do certain things. Oh, here's one. Here's a book. Spiritual um, spiritual Wisdom of Dreams. Listen, this is supposed to be a $3 value, but they give this to you for free. See, there go those act math. Let me give y'all a number. You can call the number. You can go to www.ekincar.org or you can call. I'm trying to find a phone number. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, here it is. You may call Ekincar at 952 380 Okay? Let me read this a bit. What else can I read to you guys? Well, I guess basically that's it, huh? Alright, so, oh, maybe something from this book. This is a really spiritual wisdom dreams. Some of the contents are, welcome to the real world of dreams, how to remember and interpret your dreams, dreams bring freedom and love, reunion with a departed 
loved one. I ran it all together. I'm so sorry. Practical benefits of dreams. Light and sound bring spiritual unfoldment. Spiritual guides in dreams. Uh-oh. Prophetic dreams. Questions and answers. Bad dreams. Real people. The gentle way of dreaming. The ancient promise renewed. Let's look at spiritual guides in dreams. Which is page 38. Wow, took it to that same page that I was looking at before. The Eck Masters sometimes work in the dream state and sometimes they help more directly. If people are in trouble and need protection when something comes up very quickly, these Eck Masters are here to help you. When the time is right and you need the help, you will find someone like Rebus Artars, my man right there, a Tibetan, he doesn't look Tibetan, Tibetan Act Master or Paul Twitchell, which is, he was the Act Master just before Shri, um, Klimp, this man right here is current, and he passed the torch, Oop, he passed the torch to him, okay, so, you may wonder why would these people help me, a stranger? Sometimes people ask me about this saying, after all, I'm a Christian. I don't believe in act masters, but remember that one of these principles in act is reincarnation. I'm going to read that again. After all, I am a Christian, so why would anybody help you? Because one, <laughs> I cannot get it. But remember that one of the principles in Akinkar is reincarnation. Nearly 99% of the people who come to Ek in this lifetime have been a follower of Ek in the past under one of these Ek masters. We provide pictures of the Act Masters for this reason. Some of them are in our books. Sometimes we have them available in other ways, like an Act Center in your area. We do this for those who come to Act and Car for the first time so that they may recognize one of their dream teachers. They come to you and they teach you in dreams. There's a, been, there's a lot of people that say that they see this one man all the time in a dream. People that don't even know each other are dreaming about the same person. That's them. That is these act masters. It's them. It's them. They are come. They're real. They're real. Okay. These dream teachers, the act masters are often with people from their entire lives, long before they even heard of Ekinkar. A woman in Australia, her name, we'll call her Lucinda, had broken up with her fiancé and was going through a difficult time emotionally. One night she was asleep when she suddenly uh, when suddenly she got the feeling that someone was in the room. Opening her eyes, she saw a light that grew brighter and brighter until it filled the entire room. In the center of this light stood a being. The man she later learned was Paul Twitchell. He came to the side of the bed and without touching her, held his hand above her. The power of the love of God Lucinda felt in him took away all her fear. Who are you? she asked. What are you doing here? Be quiet, he answered. Just accept the love. And then he was gone. 
He came back several more times during those months Lucinda was going through that rough emotional time in her life. While unpacking boxes in her apartment, one day she came across the book, The Fruit of God by Paul Twitchell. She couldn't remember everything. She couldn't remember ever having bought it. When she saw the author's face on the back cover, she recognized him as the man who had come to her in her dreams. But the book, she said, had, uh, the, but the book said he had died in 1971. Yet she knew he was alive. He had come and talked with her. That's when she decided to write me to learn more about Akinkar. A few days later, before she sealed and mailed her letter, Paul Twitchell came to her again, surrounding by light. He said, You now have the light and sound of God. And he left. After meeting Paul and experiencing the light of God, she knew that the power of love had more meaning in her life than she had ever realized. Okay, that's it. I will read to the one about I dream about Reapers are Tars. I'm going to say that for another time. Let me know if you guys like this information about Ekinkar. Let me know if you want to know more about Ekinkar, the religion of dreams, light, and sound. What other religion teaches you about dreams? What other religion teaches you that the the person in charge comes to you in your dreams and talks to you. It's, it's just a fascinating subject to me, you know. I wanted to do that. Anyway, what is the TikTok right now? I don't know what time it is. I'm getting a little tired. Um, yeah, so anyway, that's it. Let me know if you guys like this information. I would do more on this subject if you like. So just let me know. Rate, comment, and subscribe. And also, very important, stay in the light.